by its rod. And this one's called, Let Jesus Lead Your Life. It was like a sort of a vision I had. I was in a car with Jesus. He's driving. He's holding the steering wheel. And then I start to try to grab the wheel and start to steer it in the other direction or something. And it's like Jesus might want to turn right and I want to turn left or something. God's trying to teach us to do His will, not Satan's will or our own will. God's trying to teach us to be a servant of Him, not a God player like Satan or whatever. God wants us to learn to develop humility in us. I need your help, God. Not pride, I don't need your help, God. God wants us to follow Jesus like a good shepherd, not Satan like a bad wolf to devour us. God wants us to make Jesus our boss. When it says that my sheep hear my voice, I know them, they follow me. It's sort of like Jesus is our good shepherd or our boss. We're the sheep, he's the shepherd. He, we're the worker, he's the boss or whatever. Prayers like calling Jesus the boss on the phone. <laughs> what do you want to do today, boss? Get an answer back and start doing it with his power to do it. It's got to be like Jesus doing what God's will out through you, not you doing it through you. Giving Jesus the steering wheel and sitting back and letting Jesus lead. <laughs> And you follow. It's like praying, what do you want me to do now, Jesus? Get an answer back and start to do it with his power to do it. It's like there's three kinds of thoughts in our minds. There's like Jesus' thoughts or God's thoughts. There are our own thoughts and there are Satan's thoughts. God's thoughts or Jesus' thoughts are like the wise, loving thoughts to do God's will, to get saved through the cross, to study the Bible, to pray, to try to teach truth to others, to try to act loving towards others, etc. That's the voice we should follow. God's voice, Jesus' voice. Our voice is sort of like, I'm just a creation of God. I'm like a humble little child looking for a father to tell me what to do, or a little sheep looking for a shepherd to lead me. Dependent on hearing a voice tell me what to do and dependent on supernatural power to do it. And Satan's voice is there is no God or sin's better than obedience or something. It's always the opposite of what God wants us to do and we're supposed to resist that voice. So God wants us to get saved through the cross. God wants us to read his Bible, let him teach his truth through it. God wants us to believe his truth and resist believing Satan's lies. Follow him to success on Judgment Day instead of follow Satan to failure on Judgment Day. Understand that our problems and sufferings can be something good for us. Not let Satan tell us that God can't be good if you have to live in an evil and suffering world or something. It's supposed to be that way because of free will choice. But the good news is God can help us through it. Bring good out of it for us, like a Joseph story. Make us happy in it. And help us not to be bothered by it. Jesus can handle all our problems through us. There's nothing too difficult for him to do. Jesus could just speak a word, stop storm. Jesus could just speak a word, drop dead enemies. Like a nice and sapphire at the apostles' feet. We don't have to fear anything with Jesus, because he controls it all.